Hi, hello there. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are setting up day stories 14 and 15 in my October daily. Uh, for day 14, I'm going to be recording the spooky uh, s'mores dip that we made. And for this particular page, I'm going to be using a bunch of leftover scraps of paper that I've been using throughout my October daily so far. So I'm going to layer this orange plaid on top of this spiderweb paper. And then I'm going to lay my photo on top of that and then add this circle cutout as well behind my photo in the like top left corner, I believe I do. Um, so this one is pretty simple. You can see my daughter's face down in the corner of the screen. Hi, Luna. <laughs> um, so yeah, this one is pretty simple. I'm just going to kind of stick everything down and then add a few stickers. Off camera, like when I was looking back, I kind of felt like there wasn't enough. So I did stamp some orange and I think maybe like dark gray as well around to kind of ease up on some of that white space that I have. But that's really the only thing that I did off camera for this one, I think. I do have some red line tape on the back of this photo to kind of block out a small area so that spooky journaling card will come in and out. And then I'll add my journaling for these uh, s'mores to the back of that spooky card. And I'm going to be using the same sticker set that I've been using for most of my spreads. Um, and this one says, eat, drink, and be scary. And then I will also add the little candy pieces as well around the page. So I did just look at my October daily and I do add stamping, but I add uh, a dark gray and pink splatters around the page like I said to kind of ease up on that white space so I'm going to be using the Heidi swap numbers and I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp a small 14 instead of a super large one since I've kind of got a lot going on this page and I'm gonna stamp it right in the middle of the bottom orange plaid section and that's going to be the last thing that I'm doing on story 14. And then we will jump right into story 15, which I do have quite a bit to speak about. Um, so for story 15, I am documenting my current favorite things, which I have technically already added somewhere in this October daily already. But for these favorite things, I figured I would do like materialistic things. <laughs> so I'm doing like my favorite material objects that I'm just loving right now. So I've got my iPad, Kindle Unlimited, and um, like puzzles, just things like that on this list that I'm just currently enjoying. Now, this particular spread, while it doesn't take me very long to do on the video, it did take quite a while. So the paper in the background that I have, this orange ghosty paper with moons, is actually a paper that I made. So I used my Cricut to cut out some acetate to try and create a ghost stencil so I could have like ghost colors that would match my spread and not have to rely on scrapbooking paper. I had fully intended for this page to just be like a test to see if it was actually worth trying to do again in the future or if like the stencils would completely fail, but I ended up loving it. Like I love this page so much. My husband came home and I was bragging about it. Um, so I love it. I think it came out so cute. So instead of getting rid of it because I loved it so much and instead of trying to make a new one, I just decided that I would set it aside and use it for one of my spreads. So if you are interested in how I did this, let me know in the comments below and 
I'm sure I'll end up doing something similar in a future video and I can make sure to include that whole process in a future video if I do do it again in the future. So I do lay a lot of my die cuts and embellishments around this particular spread. It ends up being very simple, but I was struggling to decide like what embellishments I wanted to have on here. I didn't feel like I had enough on the page, but I do very much end up liking how little this particular spread has. I feel like it's a great difference, I guess you could say. I, I'm losing track of the word <laughs> to what I've currently got going on. This particular spider web came from a digital download packet from Paisley Press. So I printed this out just on the same paper that I usually print my photos out on and um, used my X-Acto knife to cut around it so that I could still see my paper in the background. And then the spider came from that close to my heart sticker page as well. I'm also going to add another sticker from that sheet that says if you've got it, haunt it because there's ghosties all over this so it it's perfect. Um, and then I'm going to play around and try and decide how I want my like tab, my pull tab for this particular page to look. I'm going to stamp 15 on the little teeny tiny ghost next to the spider web. And then I will stamp current faves to the bottom of my flip out on the inside. And then I'm gonna start really messing around with some of my die cuts to figure out specifically what I want to do for my pull tab uh, for my flip out. I think I use these stamps in almost every single one of my videos, but I do always have them linked below if you're interested in them. They are like an alphabet stamp. It's got capital, lowercase, and numbers, and I'm obsessed with them. I love them so much. So I made like a current favorites section that I put in my description, and they are just always linked below. <laughs> so here is where I'm going to start messing with my die cuts to see what I want to do. Ultimately, what I end up doing is picking out two and combining them. So I'll put one on the front and then one on the back. And here's where I'm kind of like, oh, this might work back to back. And then I'll actually trim off the top of the boo die cut to make it into like a little banner. So the one that's gonna be on the front says happy haunting. And then the boo one will be on the back. And I'm gonna go ahead and get those taped down and uh, then trim everything up. And that is gonna be the last thing for story 15. If you are working on an October daily, either on Instagram or actually filming it, leave your channel information below or just comment and say you've got videos up and um, I'll go check them out because I love watching these videos. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for joining me and I do hope everyone has a great rest of their day and week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.